Hi guys, the Premier League is back and we are roaring to go. We are willing to go all out this season and you welcome to this episode of Premier League Does Far. On this episode, we'll be talking about how the top system have strengthened how they spent money. When I mean the top system, I'm talking about Manchester City, Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal, Tottenham, West Ham. Oh, sorry, I am telling my you. Let's cross out West Ham and we have Manchester United. And um, I'm not gonna lie, City have really spent. Maybe they've not spent all they used to, but they have really strengthened with the acquisition of Ellen Allen, Alvarez, and um, Calvin Phillips from Leeds United. And from what we've seen so far, we know Manchester City will continue to dominate on the Premier League front. But maybe this might eventually be their season in which they finally win their most coveted trophy in the UEFA Champions League. Liverpool on the other hand, I think in my opinion they've lost their firepower. They are not what they used to be. Abi they've brought in White Lakaka from the Portuguese League. He has scored, he has assisted, but I'm not going to lie, that is not what Liverpool needs. And Perhaps they might eventually prove me wrong, but trust me on this, I think Liverpool will struggle this season. Arsenal on the other hand, big Yang de Sheko, I'm not going to lie, they've actually impressed. The, the first game was against Crystal Palace, they won. These are games in which Arsenal were finding difficult to beat last season and right now they have 100% record by beating Crystal Palace and Leicester City. And I'm not going to lie, Gabriel Jesus is proving to be the standard player of the season. But only time will tell. Can he be consistent with his performance? If he can continue with this, then I hope, fully think, he will be the Premier League signing of the season. And Tottenham Hotspur, the Lily White, they have actually done the best, in my opinion, the best business so far in the Premier League, they brought in Bizuma, they brought in Perisic, they brought in Richard Lexin, they brought in uh, Udoje from Udinese, they brought in about two more players in which I'm finding it hard to remember right now. But they've actually done the best business so far and they have a very great coach in Antonio Conte. We all know what Conte can do. He has proven over and over and over again. He has done it in the Italia Serie he has done it in the Premier League with Chelsea. But so far, they've won their first game of the season, which was against Southampton. It was a severe stream roll over them. And Chelsea on the other hand, the, the, the pride of London, the blows. We've got a great coach in Thomas Tuchel. We've got a decent score. Chelsea have actually replaced they have gone Lukaku with Ryan Sterling, there's Amando Broya, they came back on loan, there's Conor Gallagher, and they've brought in uh, Kalido Koulibaly from the Italian Serie to replace they have gone Rudiger. But the question still remains can Chelsea dominate with these signings they've made? The answer is no. In my opinion, I think we need two more bodies to compete you know for the top four and maybe the Premier League and the last but not the least is Manchester United okay have I talked about Manchester City yeah they've done the great business I have and Manchester United oh god they've continued from where they stopped last season even with the bringing in of Eric Ten Hag from Ajax Eredivisie result hasn't changed Manchester United problem no they finish. They actually released a whole lot of players last season. Ronaldo is trying to force a move. Right now, they don't have trusted body in their attack. They only rely on Sancho, Rashford, and the one-legged Masha. But what they have in their midfield, they've continued to rely on Mark Fred. When I mean Mark Fred, that is Mark Tomide and Fred. These two, in my opinion, can take Manchester United nowhere. If at all, it's going to take them anywhere. 
is going to take them to air because Manchester United are, are, are going to smell pepper this season. They've lost their first game against Brighton at Old Trafford. They lost against Brentford 4-0. Man, you couldn't even reply with a goal of their own. And this is concerning for a team of Manchester United caliber that has Cristiano Ronaldo in their team. Where they go from here is what I don't know because their next couple of matches are against Liverpool and Arsenal and I think Tottenham Hotspur. It's not looking good for Manchester United. And I think with what we've seen so far, in my opinion, I think City might end up winning the league as usual. Liverpool will struggle but they will eventually keep their second position. The third position will most likely come between Chelsea and Tottenham. Arsenal, with all their buys, they've actually bought a decent players and the best of them all is Gabriel Jesus. And like I said, he has done fantastically well this season. But can Arsenal keep up? with these performances can they be consistent on a weekly basis that is what i don't know but if they can then i think they will give chelsea and tottenham a run for their money but in all likelihood it is looking as though they will miss out on my top four my top four include manchester united i mean sorry did i just say manchester united manchester city liverpool Chelsea and Tottenham must go. But as the season progress, we will see if my stance will change. But for now, I maintain those four to be my top four. Arsenal will miss out on top four. Yes, they've done a great business, but they will miss out on top four. As the season progress, I might change my opinion. But for now, they will miss out on top four. And Manchester United. With the way they are going, I think they will miss out on the top 10. But let's hope something drastic change. Other than that, I see Manchester United missing out on the top 10. And that is my stand for now. And on this note, I'm going to be saying my buys until we see you again next week when we review the new episode of the Premier League thus far. For now, I am my daily alone for me. Bye bye.